Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna share with you my spring bulb order from Tulip World and also I got more bulbs from Christmas Tree Shop Store. So I received my order a few weeks ago and I placed this order early in spring and they normally would hold the order until fall when it's time for you to plant your bulbs. Anyway, so starting with this one here, this is the princess, pretty princess tulip. If I have a picture, I'll put it on the screen for you. So this is a bright, hot pink. And the bag comes with 25 bulbs. I'm not going to go over the prices because prices vary. Sometimes you have to check the website because they might have sale or they might send you a coupon. So I don't think I'll be justifying sharing the price with you. So these tulips are 12 centimeter in size, the bulbs are, as you can see. And they grow 18 to 24 inches tall. And these, I'm going to plant these. Normally I plant my bulbs 6 inches deep because the squirrels will try to come and dig them up. So 6 inches is always your best planting depth for your bulbs. And then these, you can space them 6 to 8 inches apart for my tulips. I put them five bulbs together so it has more of a natural look i know some people do one bulb here one bulb there i tend to group them in groups of five instead of just a single bulb by itself anyways so these will bloom in mid spring and i didn't inspect the bulbs already and they're so big and they're just healthy looking i'm always impressed with tulip wool that's where i get my bulbs from most of them and then I go to like your local stores and I will get some here and there but my major purchase always would come from tulip wall and sometimes I do bricks also look at this one this one is a done I can't even pronounce it I'm not even gonna try it but here you are <laughs> this one is the same planting depth as the other tulip and the same height also and as you can see it is pink and if I can get pictures for you, I'll put some on the screen so you can actually see what it looks like. And here's another pack of the Pretty Princess Tulip. This, I'm telling you, I got these last spring and they bloom for a long time. Over here we have some Allium. I'll insert a picture on the screen for you. These Allium, they're so breathtaking. And the blooms, they bloom for a couple of, I would say like six weeks, the bloom was still in the garden. And what I did also, after the blooms dried, I brought them inside. I'm going to insert a clip for you. And I just use it as dry floral arrangements and it's so unique. So remember, if you do allium, don't throw, don't cut the allium heads off and throw them away. Leave it to dry off and you can use it inside as um, a floral arrangement. So these one bloom late spring and they're of course they're purple and these are 12 centimeter in size and these are very tall they go up to two feet to three feet and this planting depth for these are four to five inches and the spacing is eight to ten inches these also do great in your containers so if you don't have a error in your ground to put them you can actually put them in containers and it's very beautiful. These are a must in your garden, definitely. So check out your Allium Purple Sensation. Definitely a must. And then here we have one more done. Quick shot. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you know what it is. Here it is. <laughs> so I have two bags of the of this one. And then I have two bags of the Pretty Princess. They all have 25 in a pack. So this is 100 bulbs right here. And then the Allium, there's 25 in here. And this one is the Aurora Fritillaria. Three bulbs in here. This is so magnificent. This is a bright orange. And the blooms on this one, it is spectacular. I do not have enough adjectives to even describe it to you. If you never heard of this, you can Google it and you can actually see what I'm talking about. This is a must. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with this in their garden. So I was on the Tulip website 
kept researching and I saw this and I'm like, I have to get this. These ones are like a bit more expensive than the tulips. You only get three in the bag, but it's so unique that it's worth the cost. This grows 32 to 39 inches tall. So that's like three feet tall and they're six to eight inches is the planting depth and the spacing is 10 to 12 inches and these bloom mid spring and as you can see these are orange and the bulb size is 20 centimeter let me see if i can show it to you look at that it's huge and you can already see the roots on here so i'm so excited about these so this is my tulip world bulb haul and I'm even thinking of getting more, but we, we shall see. It's, it's very, very tempting, but we shall see. And then over here, I'm gonna show you my, these I got from Christmas Tree Shop stores. I did a video a couple of days with the bulbs from there. And surprisingly, these were half off. So I paid $3 for 15 bulbs from there. This color was so different. I just had to get it. As you can see, I love the, the purples and the pinks i'm naturally i'm not a purple fan but a combination here i i just had to get it it's definitely beautiful so i ripped off the paper here to share with you the planting depth here so these ones as you know tulip love sun so this one is for full sun or semi shade and as i said before you dig these six inches deep you put the bulb in and four inches apart So here is what they should look like. And the bulbs, look at this. You can see how healthy the bulbs look in the bag. You can even see here, you can even see the root there already. And over here is this other combination. This is absolutely beautiful. So here's a tip for you. If you purchase the bulb that is the tulip bulb, that is the Triumph bulb, you can actually force them inside i did that last year and i was like i was so excited i'm like oh my god i have tulips before it was time for the tulips to actually emerge from the ground so i don't know what other um variety can do that for you but the triumph one these are you can actually do that and also this one is that type too you can force these from inside but you always want to keep your tulip in a cold area so you can put it in your fridge, believe it or not, or you can even put it in your garage. I have an, uh, my garage is unheated. So I keep my tulips in the garage and then when I'm ready to plant them, I just plant them. So what I did to get tulips inside, I simply plant them inside and they, they came up so quick. I had tulips inside before I even had tulips outside. So that's another tip for you, but you have to do the research. I know the Triumph tulip does that for you but i'm not sure about the different types but anyways i just wanted to share my haul with you my bulb haul here it is it's small but it's just what i need but i may get more if i see other bulbs on sale i may get more but so far this is what i need to begin with anyways friends thank you for being here and thank you for your support and remember you have to plant your bulbs now in order to get these pretty blooms that you would see in spring okay so until next time, take care of yourselves. Cheers.